Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be having a look at Pythagoras Theorem in 3D. So we've looked at Pythagoras Theorem in 2D and that said that the length of our hypotenuse was equal, or the square of our hypotenuse was equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, the hypotenuse being the longest side. So that was in 2D. In 3D we're looking to say, well, if we have a three-dimensional uh, shape and we have, say, a corner here to a corner here and this line here done in blue, which I've called side D, how long is that side and how can we work that out? So we're going to look at how we're going to work out the, the length of this line D here by using Pythagoras Theorem in 3D. So it turns out that we can kind of do a little bit of derivation and we can see that finding D is actually going to be a reasonably straightforward exercise. So if we look at our two-dimensional triangles, we can see that we would have a two-dimensional triangle here with this length here of x, this uh, width here of 4, and this uh, length here of 4. So I've kind of drawn this down the bottom here. If we were to separate this triangle out, we would have a triangle of width, I'll just leave it as w, of length here, and it would have this hypotenuse which is x, and x would be the diagonal which goes from this corner here over to this corner here. So if we want to work out the length of the side x here, well we can say that x is going to be equal to, um, we can just use our Pythagoras and we say x squared is going to be equal to the square of w, so w squared plus the square of the length. So x squared is equal to w squared plus the length and that would give us the length of this side here. Um, x squared, and if we were to take the square root, that would give us x. So x would be the square root of w squared plus l squared. But what we're going to do is, because we want to find a simple way to kind of derive this, we're going to leave it in this form for now. We can also see that we would have another triangle, another right angled triangle. So it would have this height here of 2, so it would have a height here of h, uh, a bottom length here of x, and then it would have this diagonal here D. So it would be height here, just like this, x on the bottom, so x would be the this side here, and this D would be the length of the hypotenuse. And if we would want to find out the, uh, we wanted to use Pythagoras here, we could say that D squared would be equal to our H squared plus our X squared. So d squared, we just use Pythagoras, is equal to h squared plus x squared. So what we get now is we can see that d squared equals h squared plus x squared, and we know that x squared is equal to w squared plus our length squared. So what we can do is we can take our x variable here, and we can kind of substitute it in over here. So anywhere where we have x squared, i.e. here, we can put in w squared plus our length squared. So x squared is equal to w squared plus our length squared. So we re can rewrite this d squared equation. We can say d squared is equal to our h squared is equal to our h squared plus our width squared plus our length squared. So all we've done there is a simple substitution. Anywhere where we have x squared, we've put in w squared plus length squared. So what we can see now is this side length here of d squared is actually just equal to the height squared plus the width squared plus the length squared and then if we want just the length of that side then what we do is we take the square root of both sides so we take the square root of d squared and then we also take the square root of the other side so we'll take the square root of height squared plus our width squared plus our length squared. So it actually kind of simplifies down into this nice little formula. If we just plug everything in, we get d squared is equal to the square root of h squared plus width squared plus length squared. And now all we need to do is we just need to go over to our shape and if we already know all of these variables. So we know that our height is equal to 2. We can just read that off here. We know that our width is equal to 4. We can just read that off. And we also know that our length is equal to 4. 
So our length is equal to 4 also. So if we want to find out the length here of d, what we say is we say, well, d is going to be equal to the square root of h to the power of 2, which is 2 squared, plus w to the power of the 2, which is just 4 squared, plus length to the power of 2, which is also equal to 4 squared. So d is going to be equal to the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4 squared, which is 16, plus another 4 squared, which is 16. So d is just going to be equal to the square root of 16 plus 16 is 32, plus 4 is 36. d is equal to the square root of 36. We can use our calculators to find that out, or we also know that the square root of 36 is going to be 6, and our units are going to be in meters. So we can just say that the length of this side d is just going to be equal to 6 meters. And all we, we did to work that out was we said we have this formula here, d is equal to the square root of the height plus the width square, the height squared plus the width squared plus the length squared. And we've derived that, and as you can see, in order to work out that side length, all you need to do is to take the square root of that squared plus that squared plus that squared, and it will give you that squared. So I hope that really helps you guys to understand Pythagoras' theorem in 3D. Like you can see, it's very logical. I'll put out some questions for you to have a go at, because it's a pretty practical topic. Thanks, guys.